So Tony here hit me up on Facebook. He's part of the South Coast Tackle family. He's got a solo skiff, he plays music, said we needed to get together, I agreed. So we got the guitars and the fishing poles, and here's our day in Corpus Christi, Texas. 19, 19, 20 years ago, walk a bud, beat the devil out of cotton, I drew a walk Got him on it, got him on it. Just got stuck a little bit about an inch of it moved into a high it's at low tide so the spot that was at high tide has about an inch of mud on top got stuck a little bit unhooked the trailer now we're back on hard stuff oh that sketched me out man i don't want to get stuck way back here we're a mile off the road down a dirt road back there man check this out wow <laughs> man i was a slipping and a sliding And we're off. Hey, South Coast Tackle, I appreciate them bringing me these. I'm gonna try this purple with the white tail. It's chunky, man, chunky with a lot of movement. Let's check it out. That's a nice fish, bro. Yeah, it looked like a snook. Oh, it came off. I just caught one of my PBs right here and lost him. That was like a 25 inch fish. It looked like a damn snook head wet walking. Jeez, unreal. That's a, that's a good one. He ain't that big one that whacked it a second ago, but it's a good one, man. The pink sheet dog. It's probably a keeper. Look at that. Ooh, that's a fat dude. Oh yeah. about 16 17 man i just lost another big one look as soon as i stop it he hits it well i just got hammered dude i paused to mess with something something hammered i don't know what this is though doesn't feel like a trout oh yeah it's a trout keeper Yes, sir. Good one. Boom. That's a good one. So with this oppressive summer heat, man, being where there's some current is it's refreshing to me just to see. So I knew right away we were we were gonna have some luck. It's just been so hot, and cool water gives them a chance to feed on this incoming bait with with some coolness to the water, man, coming right out of the Gulf. And we're only we're only three quarters of a mile from the open gulf in the channel that goes out to the gulf this guy's another 16 17 take it love it when it's a little bit windy love it Tony the Tiger got one. Plastic? Yep. Uh oh. Had another one. All right, I'm gonna try this. Uh, this South Coast tackle, gold. Might be a red man. I mean, it didn't even. It hit the water and he hit it. No, oh, it's. Oh yeah, it's a red. Yeah. Small one. I thought he was bigger than that. He has some shoulders. Right there, buddy. South Coast tackle. I'm talking about. Alright, that feels that oh it came off. 
Man, that felt more like a red. Well, Tony the Tiger got a good one over here, man. All right, Tony's got a good one, man. Get you some, Tony. Good trout? Oh, yeah, that's a keeper for sure, bro. In a boat! Corpus Christi in the house. Look at this. Boy, he swallowed that whole lure, dude. That's the purple with the white tail. We're using heavy lead. We're using a quarter ounce, something I never do. <laughs> South Coast. So again, something I don't do in Rockport because we have that fern grass. There you go. It's a ticket. Look at that. Put it all nice and slimy. <laughs> Alright, Tony's got another one. See if I can drift my way and push my way to him. Oh yeah, he got a nice one. This whole flat's been awesome, guys. Fish the whole way. Heavy jig head. That's the best color. Yeah, that's my favorite. It's really everybody's universally. I'd say it's probably the most popular color. All right, folks. We picked up anchor, we're drifting. We're just gonna cover some serious territory because I think we'll end up at the intercoastal. Anyway, we're just gonna drift for miles. <laughs> starting to look real red fishy. Starting to see a lot of potholes. Me and Tony here, we got a lot in common, man. I just found out he was he was born in Bryan, Texas, where I was raised. Both play music, um, part-time, professionally. Both, uh, both guide people fishing, professionally. A lot in common, man. Now, the sun up. We can kind of side cast now, dude. No doubt. So I think I'm gonna buy one of Tony's jack plates from him. He makes a killer jack plate for that solo skin. Believe me, we have conch here. Yeah. Look here. I always tell people we have conch here. It's a Texas state shell. It's actually called a lightning whelk. Look, he's alive. He's alive, dude. This guy's alive, too. See? Spitting water and all. We're gonna let him go. Texas state snail, crab, something, whatever. Lightning whelk. Got the bone, dude. We let him go. Kind of pitch that pothole right there and wham a llama. You want to anchor? Or no, just keep drifting? That's a red, huh? It might be. He got some backbone. That's a backbone. He's in that grass. About to drift over. He's hiding in the grass. <laughs> I, I anchored out so I wouldn't go over him. He's like he's trying to hide, dude. That's a more better fish, right? That was on the purple with the white tail. Hitting the potholes. Yeah, dude. Had to have it. work man all right we're deploying drift socks i got a small he's got a bigger one i gotta get a bigger one man it got slow yeah there we go now we'll slow that drift see what are we doing we drift socking we're drift socking wind picked up on us but it's okay everybody knows wind pushes the reds right mm -hmm. <laughs> wind was blowing wind was
36 inch drift sod. 17 to 20 mile an hour wind. Making him crawl, dude. Gotta get one. Alright, we're gonna go through this cut, drift a different flat. Needless to say, Tony and I got along great. Made a new friend, got to try out some new lures. It was an awesome day in Corpus Christi.